Will Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job, kids. Lovely. Our next guest, first guest, is a uh, comedy uh, legend. This man is a recent Emmy Award winner and the author of this uh, new book uh, released today entitled Rickles Letters. Here he is, Mr. Warmth himself, Don Rickles. Don, come on out and... Which means right. I was God. I was God. I was God. <laughs> what Don? an opening. What an opening. What a night. Well, that's it. Don, no, Don. No, no, no. no. Don, hey. I, want, I want to show uh, folks this picture. It's uh, t t completely uh, fitting for today, Veterans Day. This is you with your father, Max, taken in uh, 1944. And I think you're off to... Uh, fight somewhere. Is it's not you're... Miami, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was off. Uh, I didn't realize it then. I, I told him, Dave, I said, I do comedy and I do jokes. And they said, keep firing. And uh, <laughs> they, <laughs> they sent me to the Philippines and I was walking around and the guy says, where are all the Jews? Where are the Jews? <laughs> and I, I had a rough time. I had a rough time. Yeah. Uh, but, I, I, but uh, you know, it's Veterans Day, and as you said, and you said so appropriately, to all those guys. There's not many World War II guys of, of my, my war, and unfortunately, my war, the war I was part of. And so many of those guys today are, are still remembered, and deservedly so. And this day is very important. And I'm so proud to be part of that. I really absolutely, am. Absolutely. But look at this. What a good looking kid. What a good looking kid. Hair and all, huh? Yeah, and your dad. Very proud, probably, probably worried about you, but very proud. He said, we went down to Grant, in those days you went down to Grant, I look out at the audience and it's pitch dark, I feel like George Shearing. <laughs> That's a guy that didn't have sight, in case you people don't know. <laughs> maybe Stevie Wonder. Yeah, all right. <laughs> or maybe Ray Charles, where's the dog? Anyway, now, now why Don, am I into blind bits? I'm into blind bits. Now Don. I'll be with you in a minute, but he's bigger. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, Don. Oh, Don. Uh, yeah. Congratulations on your Emmy Award. My gosh, oh, that's just wonderful. Good for you. The HBO uh, documentary, Mr. Not, Warmth. Not to correct you, two Emmys. Oh, two Emmys. Uh, one was for this show, Mr. Right. Warmth, the Don Rickles Project, and one was opposite you. And I swear to God, when they said my name, I said, no, no, I can't. I need Dave. I got to kiss up to him. I can't <laughs> polish it up and give it to him. It's not right. You know what I'm saying? You said polish it up and give it to Dave. This is it. This is on tape. I know what the hell I said. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a playback all night. I don't need this. Yeah, of course. No, but it's a shame you didn't win, but I deserved it. Yeah, well, I, anyway, absolutely. Well, well you, I think you win all the time. I win nothing. But would you believe, Dave, in all the years we know it, now, it, it, yeah, you had to say, that was a coincidence that we were opposite each other. Yeah, it really was. And you know, with all your wealth and all your power, you still could win. <laughs> but, now, Don, you're in a, that oh, was Don, a, that was a, that was a, a tough, it, well, tough category. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, forget me, yeah. you had uh, Tina Fey, yeah. you had uh, uh, John Stewart, yeah. you had Stephen Colbert, yeah. and uh, I, I guess Cher was probably, she was always in there. No, she, <laughs> she was smothered in a costume. Anyway, uh. <laughs> I'm not say that. Anyway. Yeah. But anyway, I'm saying, you know, God bless you. You well deserve it, and I couldn't be happier. For uh, I'm glad you're happy. And yeah. we were able to move now out of the, out of the downtown apartment in Hollywood. And we, uh, <laughs> we moved to the big ranch with the hunting dogs, and we're all set now. <laughs> yeah. With and when you went in, Emmy, you know, I did this show as a favor. They begged. They begged. Yeah, Regis right. and him were fighting over what show I should do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Regis is not here tonight. He's up in Connecticut saying to the wife, why? Why is he bigger than me? Why? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you something, that Regis Philbin couldn't carry your lunch. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you clean that up. Yeah. No, Regis <laughs> cares about me. He's not crazy about you, but he cares about me. <laughs> Why are we making Regis that important? I, know. I know him when he, was a, when he was a disc jockey in San Diego That's saying, right. help me, help me, do anything, I'll do anything. <laughs> let, me, let me wash your, your shorts, anything. Yeah. Jesus.
<laughs> Wash your shorts. Wash your shorts. I threw that in. Why? Yeah. You don't like no, it? No, I did ah. like it. I well, get another guess. No, I enjoy it. Ah. <laughs> I don't need this, Dave. You start to steam me for no reason. No, I don't want to steam you. I'm an Emmy winner. I'm so big. Uh, I swear to God, I don't even make a move with the wife anymore. Oh, is that right? No, she just lays in bed. Put the way, put the Emmy away and start with me. Anyway, uh, That's a... <laughs> she just lays there and goes, is that about it? <laughs> When you're married 43 years, you, you guys, I don't know anybody out there, but if you're married 43 years, yeah. wow. you just don't hit the bones one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you're Jewish, you circle the bed and get an estimate. <laughs> Yeah. She's a, a, a lovely woman. Uh, I've, I've uh, spent many of I, I Why does she upset you? Why? No, I'm saying she's a, a lovely woman. She is. She used to be a hooker for the FBI. No, she... <laughs> that joke could cost me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's right. Because she sits in the room in the, with the jewelry going, smart ass is going to pay for that. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, uh, Paul, when you get a chance, watch the show. Yeah, no, I... I'm with you. I really... I, I'm doing the show, and he's standing there going, No, no. <laughs> no, I won't. When, when does my next song come up? <laughs> when do I go? That's all I want to do. That's right. Man has no respect for crying out loud. Oh, he loves you. See me. He came to see me at the town hall, I must right. say that. I heard that was a big success. It was. Engagement. You weren't there, and I would, everybody asked for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, now, how come you never come out? Well, of I want to. Say, I just want to say one thing that uh, uh, I went to see you where I wanted to see you, which in was Las in Vegas. Las Vegas, That's a long at the, time. At Peter the Desert Sally, Inn, our dear friend. Yes, and it was a great night, and we got to come backstage, and I'll never forget that. that night. That's right. And Eddie and Steve walked in like they were shot out of a cannon, mm -hmm. and you had on a baseball cap, and you went into the closet. That's right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, because Eddie, God bless, is very debauched, and she went and said, "Don, darling," and this guy went, "Oh, I got to get out of here." <laughs> she, she was a little uh, He's demonstrative. He's a you know, Midwest guy. Indiana, you know, him and Johnny Carson, rest his soul, who I miss, and, I, and, and you do too. Yes. But you're like Johnny, the same, you have the same combo. You know, don't want to meet anybody, don't want to make friends, just. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not exactly. <laughs> yeah. But and anyway, I I heard son, I was, I'm happy for your son. Thank I watched you very that much. night, you showed pictures of oh, Harry's thing. Harry, yeah, Harry, yeah. God bless you, yeah. that's great. Uh, so the engagement downtown, is that where it was downtown? Here in the no, city? it was in Spain. <laughs> I make seven billion dollars and I'm talking to a dummy. <laughs> seven billion dollars. Where was it? Yeah, well, I don't know. It was in Idaho for the corn convention. <laughs> I'm a Jew in Idaho for the corn convention. <laughs> all right, now here, we got to do, I think it's potatoes in Idaho, oh, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, we, we'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. What about the, um, well, thank God the, uh, the election, the campaign, two years, two years of that, and thank goodness it's over. What, what did you think of the uh, outcome? Well, I don't get into politics too much. I, I think the other guy, uh, the new guy, you know, can you imagine, though, the Iranians come crashing into the White House? Mr. President, Mr. President, the Iranians are attacking. Iraq is attacking. Anybody's attacking. Three points. <laughs> See, he was a basketball player, the, pre mm -hmm. the new president. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't make me show cards, folks. Don't make me show cards. <laughs> That's what the new president does. He's not going to be in office long. He's going to be walking around and saying, there's going to be another war. Stop it, I'm dribbling. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but these are basketball jokes that I should have never done because... You're just breaking them in. Yeah, just tried it just out on a bad crowd. That's, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't turn on me. You stood like dummies out in that line on 40, whatever street it is. Go. Move up, Al. We're going to be with Dave. <laughs> Move up, Al. Move up, Al. We're going to be, be with Dave. Dave. That's right. Remember, <laughs> drop your pants and fire a rocket. Rock. I know you yeah, never I forgot that. I love one. that yeah. one. Now, but I remember, uh, for, for, was it the first Reagan inauguration? Yes, I you, was. Uh, yeah. Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank Sinatra rest his soul. You remember him? Yes. Yeah, he always used to talk about you. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's when you were doing a daytime show and nobody gave a crap. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but, uh, he, <laughs> you know, everything I say now on the show, I did up in the hotel room and I laughed my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Ronald Reagan, God rest his soul, a great guy. He, well, I knew him when he was governor at the Roast. In those days, we had really great Roasts. And, and, and we got to know each other. And I was invited. I was in Hawaii. And the phone rings. And it's Frank Sinatra. Make a long fast forward. And Frank says, Don, get your bags back, you and Barbara. You're going to be at uh, Ronald Reagan's second inaugural. I said, really, Frank? He said, don't, don't panic. You're in there. And Frank went to the, to the cabinet and said, oh, Reckles is going to make this. Oh, no, there's no Don Reckles. What are you kidding? <laughs> He's going to wipe the whole world out. No, 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 Don Reckles. And Frank said, God rest his heart, he said, if you don't have Reckles, you don't have me. And that's, that's what he said. Wow. And it was so great. And I went to the White House, and my opening line was, I walked out. I had no idea what I was going to say. The Secret Service said, well, what is he going to say? And Frank said, whatever he wants. He said, well, you've you got you to give him some march. No, no, Rickles does whatever he wants. And I walked out, and I walked out. I said, Mr. President, I'm talking. Stop, stop napping. I'm talking, for crying out loud. <laughs> and all the Secret Service went, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Their Uzis went off in the pants. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but, <laughs> now what, when they heard that again, what did the Secret Service do? When, the, when, they first, when they first heard that, what did they do again, Don? Don't push it, Dave. <laughs> Don't push it, Dave. But, and you know what? It was so good. Uh, Scott Oswig, he was one of the guys that got us. And in and, and those days, they said, uh, no drinking. Frank said, there's absolutely no drinking. And Dean Martin was just, so I was, could you imagine addressing Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, myself. And those days, he, Dean had a, a line of vodka bottles in, in his tuxedo. And he said, you got it, Frank. Don and I ain't going to touch a thing. Boom. He walked out and went, to the president. Boom. Boom. <laughs> It was a great night. It really was. I, I remember Billy Graham, God bless him, who is not well, I understand, but he was a great man. Chris still a great man. And he was sitting ringside. And I, and I looked over and I said, uh, Dr. Graham, this hand, if you could make it better, I'll do anything. <laughs> and all the cabinet did one of these. <laughs> they checked. That's what Sinatra, when Frank first knew me, I went and said, hit somebody, Frank. Be yourself. Relax. Hit somebody. <laughs> So, to, so to all the guys with him who are all scientists went, <laughs> Frank, is that funny? Of course, if it wasn't, I'd be on the Jerry Lewis telethon. Sure. Now, uh, that, oh. hey, you, God bless Jerry. He does a great job yeah. with that show. You know, I love when he does the high note. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never... What? Hello? And when he hits the high notes, all the kids get out of the chairs and go home. That's how, that's how that works. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you, uh, uh, did you... Uh... Did you I, know? I preface it by saying Jerry's work is great. That's, that's a joke, and I'm sure he'll be the first one to laugh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you this, and I, I think I know the, the answer. Did you know uh, Buddy Rich? Did you ever work with Buddy Rich? Yeah, I knew Buddy well. Yeah. I knew him when he got in a fist fight and played the drums in the lounge with one hand and bandages. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. He was slam Why would you bring up Buddy Rich? Well, because, uh, I don't know, I, I, he's a great drummer, and, and uh, I, I knew that you guys probably knew each other from Las Vegas. Like saying, you know the guy in the AMP in the grocery store? I mean, well, <laughs> why would you think of Buddy Rich in the middle of no place? I mean, Dave, did you know Al Schwartz, a friend of mine? Well, no, I don't. Al Schwartz, no. From left field, he, from left field, he gets me with where, Buddy Rich. I don't know where these things come yeah. from. Buddy Rich is a, was a great drummer. He oh, really tremendous was. drummer. And, and he had, to, speaking of Jerry Lewis, he loved Jerry, and he had cartoons of Jerry. I went his house. He used to ride motorcycles, and he and Frank were great during the show. They'd have fist fights during the show. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was great. I never got into that. Jews don't do that. We pay a guy and go, hit somebody. Go ahead. <laughs> Here's a couple of bucks. Knock this guy in his ass. Go ahead. A <laughs> couple of bucks. <laughs> That's how we say in New York. Yeah. In Indiana, you don't say that. No. Any milk? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we say. That's exactly what we say. Any I've milk. been in Indiana. Yeah. To, lucky you got out of there. Lucky <laughs> it's you got a great, great state. It is a great state if you have nothing to do. Uh, uh, Don, tell us, uh, if you can, wh one little thing with you and Frank, kind of give us an idea of the relationship. You, you used to like to kind of uh, work him a little bit, didn't you? Kind of yeah, get well, him worked my up? job was to run in front of the car. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
And if the brakes were bad, I wouldn't be here tonight. Yeah. I'll tell you that. No, he, I, I was very fortunate. The man took a, a great feeling for me, and he, and he adored my wife, Barbara. And that was a big secret, too. But my, my no, it's the truth. Not, not sexually. It was nothing like that. My wife was with a winner. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she knows when Spider went into action, there was a lot of trouble, boy. <laughs> that was his name, you know, yeah. Spider. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and is Spider still with us? Yeah, he's he's in the hotel room, laying in the pajamas. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Don, uh, let's talk a little bit about this uh, book, Letters, Letters that you've written to uh, friends and colleagues uh, and family members in show business over the years. Fictitious letters, right? Yeah, not, but things that are on your mind. That's right. Letters you might write. You're in there. Yes, I'm in there. Yes, I appreciated that. Oh, and, and thank my you. Pleasure. And uh, again, congratulations on the Emmy. Uh, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Going to be at uh, Foxwood. Uh, you can now go to Poland. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> he, he used to be an immigration officer. That's right. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Don will Don. be at Foxwoods Resort Casino, Connecticut, uh, Saturday. That's right. A big weekend. Uh, how many shows? Three shows? 30, 34 shows. <laughs> no, no, one, one show, and then I, then I get on the bus and drive to Indiana <laughs> for the annual corn festival. No. Did I say Connecticut? I meant Spain. He's going to be in Spain. <laughs> Uh, always a pleasure, Don. By God, it's good to see you. Thanks for everything. Great Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Amy Brenneman.